Well, hello. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning, no matter where you are in the world. I'm Mad Morty. Welcome back to another Floss Tube Extra. And taking a leaf out of the lovely Belushi Stitches book, I am going to do some chit chat around the chatelaine that I'm working on, which is the Poison Garden Mandala. Uh, the reference number is ONL124, I believe. And where we are so far, what I've done so far, what's coming up. Um, talk about some of the stitches that we're working on. Hopefully not make anybody too seasick because we still haven't solved the problem of the wobbly stand. So I'll try not to knock it too much. But here we are, set up on a particularly wet and miserable afternoon in the UK. Um, just check my nails are clean. <laughs> clean enough. I had a little bit of an incident involving a dog lead and a rather long fingernail. So, um, yeah, that hurts. Right, so I will drop a picture in here roughly of what the design will look like. I'll also, let's have a look at the, uh, the photo that comes with the chart. It's not the easiest to read from the photo, is it? You know, let's let's zoom in a bit more so you can see a bit closer. Um, it is quite detailed, as you can see at the moment. I've done the bit in the middle here. I'm starting to work my way all around in here. Um, I'm not sure I can bring it any closer up let's, without making major wobbles. No. Because the stand is in the way, probably cut that bit out. But there you go. Oh, just stop it shaking. Hang on. There we go. Right. Let's try that again. Bring that up a bit, so you can see that dark line there, which corresponds with that there. Right. So what have we got? What have we got so far? Uh, zoom you in. That's as far in as I can get without actually taking the camera closer. If I take the camera closer, it's just never going to work. Oh, where have we got? We've got a pointy tool. I don't really have a pointy tool other than my needle. So what we've got so far is we have got lots of beads in here. All the way around here. Let's see if I can brighten that up a little for you. I think the camera doesn't like the contrast. It's a shame. It's not showing up as beautiful in the in the screen as it is on the on the table here. But there's about four, three or four different shades of delicate beads. These blue ones. We have some gold treasure braid in um, the old gold, I believe it is. The floss that I have been using so far has been ridiculous. I should have pulled it out before I started filming. Let's go. It's all falling out the bag. Let's just find the right one. It's fairly easy to put the hand on. So that dark line on the outside is a Gloriana. We have here Gloriana. And the colourway is aubergine, which we've talked about before. It is a lovely variegated, but very dark variegation on it. You can barely tell on all of these outside stitches that that's what these are. We have also had one lot of speciality stitches already. Let's see if I can find the details for them for you. Because I'm useless. I should have put all this together to begin with. It was a bit silly, wasn't it? Not actually making sure I had everything laid out in advance. Uh, bear with me a minute, folks. Where's it gone? Here we go. So we have got road stitches and dense road. You'd think that I'd have remembered that, wouldn't you? You really would have thought I'd have remembered that. Just here, I'll take my glasses off to sit. This is this is a daft part, right? I can't see what I'm talking about. I, need, I don't want to get into shot. So we have got 
I can't remember which ones are which now. I think these were roads, these are dense roads. So we've got quite a few of those in already. And the area I have been working on most recently. Oh, I've stopped that wobble. Is up here where we have got stitches that are one over one in another Gloriana. This one with bluegrass. Okay. Now, unlike Belushi stitches, uh, the piece that she's working on, even in the park, actually comes in definitive sections. Obviously, for obvious reasons, I can't share with you the pattern. Not in full. I will show you where I'm stitching at the moment and how it's charted. But this one does not come in parts. Okay, so I don't have a part one, part two, part three. So we're just going to go round and round in circles. But here, just go to here. You may be able to see just here. If I get this. But this is the bit that we are working on round here. All these little tiny stitches all the way along here. So there you go. Right. Now, I cannot stitch them and talk to you at the same time. And not be in the shot. <laughs> Blocking the view because I can't actually see what I'm working on there. Without being a little bit closer with my glasses on. Because I can't actually see the, the holes from this kind of distance. I'm a little too far away. So what I'll do is I will actually stop here, do some stitching, show you what I've done. I might even bring the camera a little bit closer once I've done. Okay, see you shortly. Okay, so we have got as far as, I'm going to hold the camera for this because it's much easier and gets you a lot closer. You can see a bit more of the sparkle now as well if I do this. Still not. There, look, see, you can start to see some of the pretty colours that are coming through. But what we're really looking at is just here, a little bit of pointy thing. So we are, we have been working just here with all of the one over ones. And that's all the blue grass one over one crosses for that area. And you can see the beautiful gradient here. Oop. Going from this yellow goldy colour through to this rich sort of bluey teal colour. Let's have another look at the thread itself, all the floss through here. Look at these amazing colours. And from this, it's not showing up as bright in this light as it really is. Quite an amazing colour range. So what we'll do now is we will find the optimum distance, repeat that, there, there and there. Once I've done that, I'll come back again. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse the frog in my throat. I thought I would actually get you to... Sort of, sort of do a stitch with me try and set the camera up biggest problem I have got is how well that too this is where he's going to make the frame wobble more than me I am not going to stop for him and his shouting we're going to ignore him as best we can for the moment the problem is he's just eaten so he thinks it's time to have a hug cuddle or say thank you I don't know whatever um, so yes anyway the biggest problem that I've got at present <laughs> is simply that I can't really see what I'm doing um, Um, 
it's not the easiest of things to have to try and do. Uh, I've got two times magnification glasses on. The camera is on three times. But the problem that I've got, and it would be ideal, I could I could look through that and, and just see what I'm doing. But if I try and look through the camera, my hand thinks it's in a completely different place to where it actually is. Um, sorry about the knocking, that's the cat being super friendly. Um, marking it as his own property. And the other problem I have is that the chart is on the filming device. So I do have a paper chart, which you are aware of, but I can hardly see it. <laughs> I feel very old. Definitely feeling my age right now. Um, I'm just fuck about a bit here at the moment. I did start with the paper chart. I was marking the paper chart off. So it's got graphite all over it. But it's so small, it's really hard to read. Let's skip one. There. And of course the light is over to the right and not in the middle because I chose to rearrange how I was sitting just to make my life a little easier. We will gradually, as time goes on, develop and change everything about how we do this. From trying to sort this floor stand out so it's not wobbly every time you touch it. It's super, super sensitive to improving how the phone is held on a mount. Uh, increasing the lighting. Having a workstation beside me when I'm working. Can't sit and do this in the living room at the sofa. It just doesn't work for me, unfortunately. Have I done that right? I think so. Basically, what I'm doing is a mirror image of that. So I'm trying to think and look at what I'm doing. make sure that I maintain a degree of control over what I'm stitching. I might not have a degree of control over what comes out my mouth at the same time. This is quite a novel exercise. I know that I had said in a previous Chatelaine stitch with me that I was going to talk more. There was a story about a gnome, for example. The story about the gnome is still going to happen. What I need to do is I need to find the photograph that proved the one I'm about to talk about happened. Um, please don't tell me I've done all that wrong. And then bear with me, bear with me. So I did that, that was fine. Oh, that's fine, that does go there. That's where I find I've done that. No, I thought I would, there we go. So go, I'm up that one. I really need to find the photograph. It's the one photograph that's missing from my trip to Canada. Um, And in fact, actually, I've just realised that the photograph that I will show you of myself at Niagara Falls was taken by Karen from Textured Treasures. That is hilarious to think. And that was 24 years ago. Yeah, it would have been, I think, September 99 that I was out there. But I digress. We'll come on to that. 
another time. Where am I going now? <laughs> oh, this is this is tough. Right, so there's another three there. So try and do this so that the stitches don't slide behind as well. Super, super small. Gloriana silks to work with are brilliant. to follow right three have I done that in the right place yeah right I'm gonna put that one in there keep focusing on my hand but what I'm going to do now I'm going to shut up for a little while and let you just watch and this will go into either into sped up mode or I'll just play some music over the top so talk to you again in a few minutes
one will come up in that one. there. That one doesn't look like that's there properly does it? Let's just pop a, an extra over the top. don't think anybody's going to notice, bar me. But there you go. Looks a little better doesn't it? Okay so now we need to go over to the other side. Four across at the top there. So one, two, three, four. Let's go in there. Hmm. Don't know if I like that. Is that going to come over? Yes, it is. So let's go to there instead. One in there. Try that. Three. One there, it's per the design. No, close, nearly lost the end of the thread then. That's the worst bit about coming to the end of your thread. You've got plenty though. When I next do it, I'll start with the up there rather than here. That was a bit daft. If I'd done that, it would have been a lot easier. So, to count that one. So, let's... Last few. Just two of those. It's all there somewhere. And then to go. One. Two. Oh. Excellent. Just pop it over there for the moment, out of the way. So there you go. Um, what I'll do is I'll stop the video and I'll take you in a bit closer. Okay, so there's a nice, nice clear shot of what I've done this evening. Um, all of these oop, little tiny, um, <laughs> be careful my scissors because the only things I've got that are pointy to hand. Right then, so done these here. These ones here, yes, there is meant to be a gap in the side of that one. Ones around there, those ones down there. These, it's just that blue is such a lovely colour. I'm glad it's come out quite well on screen. And up there. So it's taken an evening to do just these two sections. So I will come back when I have done the rest and we're ready to move on. Um, I wish you could see how much sort of there you go there's a lot more sparkle there than you than you would really otherwise see 
Yeah, gold. Um, there's also some pet hair, which I will get rid of. You're getting really good indication of the variegation on that Gloriana just there as well. Going from that plum to that dark, dark purple. All the way across. There we go again. It's just lovely. Unfortunately, I need to improve my lighting a little bit for you all as well. But there you go. So that's today's. I am going to attempt to do some every evening. A little bit of filming. Um, so I will do the rest of those one over ones. Let's wander our way back into the one over ones gently and carefully. Yeah, so repeat those on the other side. Uh, there are a lot more one over one stitches to do. Um, but some of those are in different colours, which I haven't yet sorted out. So, see you in the next segment. Okay, so a few days have passed since I last filmed. I've been a bit poorly in between times, so didn't want to film anything because I didn't want to cough and splutter my way through recording. But we've now finished that first lot of... Uh, um, bear with me a second. I'm just reaching. Uh, there we go. So we've now finished this first lot of the single one over ones all the way round, which was all done in the Gloriana bluegrass. Lovely colourway with the blues and teals and everything. Um, but no, that's not all of them. No, we have some more. We've got a lot more one over one crosses to do in these. So we have here, whoop, pull back a bit. We've got all in water lilies coming up now, water lily silks. It's going to be lovely to stitch with. Um, we've got Caracoon. Evergreen. It's much more green than it's coming up on this. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Much more green. We've got Ivy. Um, pesto. Uh, guacamole. And sea glass. So we've got all those colours that we've got to put in. One over one. Around there. Okay. See you soon. Well, hello. It has been a few weeks, actually, since I last filmed. A couple of weeks. Um, I'm still not quite over the cold that I have had. Um, but, yeah. Here we are. <laughs> You'll still hear the cold in my voice, so... <coughs> if excuse me if I cough right this is all of the um the one over one stitches complete I have to put my glasses back on can't actually see whether or not that's in focus bear with a minute hang on whoops whoop, tilt right that's better yes so this is I've put in a lot of the gold stitches around the area as well but here we have let me actually see if I can zoom in. There we go. Here we go. We have got the one over ones all the way around. I have done a quick tot up. And there are, in total, in that area, 656 one over one stitches. Because, you know, I figured we would have a look and see how much they are. Uh, this is coming at a different angle. Zoom you in a bit. So, as you can see, um, there's also pet glitter. <laughs> Does give you a better indication, actually, in this light of all the different colours of beads. So, what next? What next? Well, there are... Lots of stitches to go in. Well, the whole thing. It's got lots of stitches to go in. But there are fancy, like Jessica. There might be some Jessicas, I'm not sure. But there's definitely roads and dense roads to go in all around this sort of area. Some of the bigger beads I'm going to leave until 
we are nearly done because they won't go through the rollers very nicely but i think i'm going to leave the video at this point so this particular frost tube extra at this point and that's my cat um i will just show you the colors that were used in the whole of that so there was some six or seven so Karen watercolour, the pesto colour. And then the next one along here is, this is the ivy. You can see lots of shades of green in that. Karakum is the red. It's got shades of, sort of almost a charcoal colour and a purple. We have got bluegrass. This one here, remember I showed it to you previously. That's a Gloriana. This one is Sea Glass by Water Lilies. Karen Water Lilies, it's really pretty colour. We have Evergreen. That's more green, that's showing up very blue in this light at the moment, but there's actually much more green. And then Guacamole, again, you know, just as a reminder. And the gold is a Treasure Braid a PB35. Oh, got a wobbly thing. So there you go. I don't know when I'm next going to film. Just to give you a heads up, it, I spent five hours today stitching on this just to get those finished off. Um, it is a, quite a lengthy process. I will be very glad to get back to normal size stitches, but equally, um, a little bit of beading will be fun. But I don't know. This is going to take quite some time. So thank you for watching. And I'm not sure, maybe see you again in another month. Ciao for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>